we're resilient out here, Tap. You know, we're resilient. We were just we're talking not about. We're soft like Chris. You know, we, we, we had the playoff hey, atmosphere hey, hey, going hey, there. Hey, hey, Chris, Kayvon said you talk a lot of trash, too, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I bet hey, he we does. We are going to play today. Hey, you don't want to mess with him. Let it go, Kayvon. Let it go. I hope prove me wrong, Kayvon. You the man. <laughs> yes, hey, sir. Kayvon, when did you start to realize, I like this matchup in this game. This could be my night tonight. Hey, I was hungry. You know, me, I'm a dude. I call out my fights, you know. Mm. So when I when I got in, I said, I, I need 72 all day and that you know he's a great player shout out to him he, he played his ass off but that was a fight that I knew I needed because he, he got to me last game so I had to get my get back bro you a rookie <laughs> and you got people wearing your jerseys you got people out here screaming and yelling your name going how does that make you feel that has to humble you. if I'm being honest man I'm from South Central Los Angeles I, I wouldn't have pictured myself here this a blessing every time I see somebody wear my jersey I almost want to drop a tear man I think of my mom I think of my grandma and just the impact you know and I say that because they they impacted me so much and the fact that I got people following me and looking up to me, it's a blessing, man. What did you guys learn from that um, week 13 tie? What did, you, yeah. what did you guys learn as a team? Like, hey, we're good enough to do this. What did you guys learn? Uh, that this, this game is a player's game, and no matter what the coaches, no matter what we run, no matter what we do, it's going to be up to the players making plays. So, you know, we all have to step up, and, and our plan was to execute, and we did it. We've seen a lot of great players, a lot of great plays on Sunday Night Football. I can't remember a performance as dominant, as overwhelming as the one you put on tonight. I could list off about 18 plays. What was your favorite play that you made tonight? If I'm being honest, my favorite play was when they ran that fly sweep and that tight end tried to come see me. I hate tight ends. He tried, <laughs> he tried to come see me, and I there threw it. your highlights right here, bro. Look at the quickness, yeah. man. I'm on it. That's film. That's all film. Look, right here. Yeah, I love that. And then come back oh, to it and still the make the play. Come on. Come on, we're making plays. You're hungry in that run game. And see, and this is the difference, and this is why when people say, they say what they, whatever they want, but it's about watching film. It's about being a student of the game. And I've been a student of the game my whole life, and I'm just going to keep continuing to do it and keep growing. This Giants team, this Giants franchise, man, there's some great history there. First thing running through your head when you figured out you were going to be a New York Giant on draft day. I mean, just the excitement through my body and having my family sit there and knowing that all the work and all everything that I've done leading up to that, it's like I'm at the culmination, you know. So just being there now, being a part of New York, I mean, I wouldn't want to be anywhere else. What, when you look at your game right now, what do you feel like you have to improve on and where, where, what is your next step? Uh, I think my next step is, is really just dissecting the game. You know, as I've been able to play faster game by game, so Let's just continuing to get those man. those nicks and notches and making Let's sure go. that there are I'm 100%. You know, I feel like there's a difference between being a good player, making plays, but when you still have those mistakes, you got to minimize them because it's playoff football now. So I just want to be 100% on everything. I feel like Daniel Jones, he eats a lot of criticism, right? When things aren't going well, he eats a lot of that criticism. What can you say about him in the big moments of this game tonight? That he's so committed and he's so hard working that he doesn't even he blocks it out but me I'm gonna talk some spit you know what I'm saying and, <laughs> yeah. I, and everybody that's that's doubting him and looking down on him he's our leader and we believe in him and that's just that's the way it is and he's gonna keep leading us he's played he's been playing his butt off and the coach and everybody has just rallied around him and he's been continuing to, to, to be more efficient and make more plays so I'm, I'm excited for the future brother you know what man you played your butt off and really proud of you man yep. Congratulations. Hey. Keep Thank getting you. better, brother. Thank you. Hey, Keep man. getting better. Hey, the greatest thing about tonight is you know we got Victory Monday. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> see you Wednesday. Come on. I'll see you soon. That is a teach tape <laughs> clinic right there. You're good to go. Can, wait, can I close go. it? Absolutely. Close it down. Hey, this is Kayvon Thibodeau, the closer. Back to you in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I need a quick prediction. Y'all going to the playoffs? Listen. Okay. That's all I need. We're going to work hard. That's it. We're going to hey. be humble. We're going to keep grinding. We're going to keep getting better. And we're going to stick together when our back is against the wall. That's it. After well, this you know, you're tonight, perfect for New York. You already know. Hey, give me some, bro. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.